Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can add more cars to your DAISY private custom community server. Um, we're going to be looking at the Ada, the Olga, the Gunter and the Sarka as of the time that I'm recording this video in early November 2020. The truck hasn't been hasn't been put back in but it will be coming back in soon and you'll use this, the same technique. Um, we're going to be looking at um, my uh, Nitrado server as an example. Um, you may well access your server via FTP or by a different server provider, but what you want to do is you want to go into the web interface for your server or access it via FTP, but if you do that, you'll know what you're doing anyway. And once you're into your server dashboard, you want to go down to the file browser and you want to click on this one. And you want to find the missions folder. Now, if you're on PC, you've got to dig down a few levels before you get to the missions folder. Um, it's near the t it's, well, it's right at the top on PlayStation and Xbox. And then you'll find something. It'll say either Chernerus Plus or it'll say Enoch for a Livonia server. Or it might well say say both. But you just want to click on the folder that your server is currently playing. So if it's a Chernerus folder, click on Chernerus Plus. If it's a Livonia server, click on click on Enoch, and you click on that one. And then we want to go into the DB folder that you see here. And funnily enough, in all of these lots of these videos, we've been clicking on the types file. And I almost said types again, but for, for, for vehicles, we want to click on events. We want to download the events file, this one here. So you want to download the events file. And when you've got it, got it you want to make a copy of your events file. So that if you make a mistake, um, you've got the original to go back to and you can start again and then you want to open up the events file in your favorite text editor You could use notepad, but I prefer notepad plus plus I'll put a description in the dish in the uh, put, put a link in the description down below. It's free. It's great for Windows. It does things like um, uh, Color code stuff so you can see your mistakes a lot easier now the events XML file this controls dynamic things that happen within the world so if you watch some of the previous videos, you know a lot of time we work with the types.xml file. This so this is for for normal loot that appears and disappears across the map. Your food, your weapons, your attachments, your tools, that sort of stuff. Clothing, events are for the things that kind of are, are a little bit more special. So things like um, kind of animals spawning in and out, um, police cars. These things that aren't in the same places a lot of the time. Um, and this is where the cars are as well. So what you do is within your events uh, file, do do a search, and what you want to search for is vehicle, vehicle, like so, and you'll get to them. So here's the first one. So this event here. So this controls uh, what we would call the, the the sedan, which would be the uh, I guess that's the Olga um, that spawns in. So we see that at any one time on a vanilla server as of early November 2020, there's 10 of the sedans or Olgas um, around, the, uh, around the map. There's only 10. Um, and they'll hang around for not very long. They only hang around for 300 seconds before they spawn somewhere else. Now, that doesn't mean that you'll see one of these vehicles disappear in front of you. Because if someone's near, they don't disappear. If you're within line of sight, you don't see these vehicles displaying, but they're kind of popping up and all over the map kind of thing. But there'll only ever be 10. So that's not many. And then if we scroll down a bit, um, what we're also interested in is here, the the, uh, the max and the mins. And we can see that the sedan um, spawns in three, the, the vehicle sedan event spawns in three different types of things. The, the civilian sedan, the normal one, the black, and the wine-colored one. And then you've got the maximum numbers so five you can have or three so if we want to spawn in more sedans um say we we could increase this to 30 now let's say you wanted to go all the way and increase it to the maximum number of savans sedans that you can have on the map how would you know what that maximum number would be without it causing errors and sedans piling on top of each other well what you could do is if you go to if you download the cvg event spawns.xml file these are all the possible positions for the savan, the sedan. I keep on the savans, don't I, to uh, to spawn in at. And if you were to count all of these sedans 
how many there are. So it starts at four and goes to 58. So there's 54 possible uh, locations for a sedan. In theory, you could have 54 as the nominal. Okay. So, <laughs> so that would mean that at every single point where one of those vehicles could spawn, it would spawn. So you could make it very easy for your players to find um, cars. Remember, these cars won't be complete. They'll have a random selection of bits on them. So you could do that if you wanted to. Wouldn't recommend that, though. Um, but let's say we, we didn't want to... We, let's just increase it to, say, 30. So we want 30 of the, the events. Let's change the minimum to, I don't know, 25. The maximum to 35. But then what we've got to do down here... If we've, we've got to make sure that we increase the min and the max down here otherwise what will happen is we'll get we'll hit the max of five for each of these different types of sedans and then no more will spawn in anyway so let's say we can have a maximum of I don't know 15 of those 15 of those 15 of those and then the minimum say of 10 10 and 10 so that would mean now we're going to have a lot more of the the vehicle civilian sedan which as i say i think that's the that's the olga isn't it spawning in and then you've got the hatchback um so the hatchback is the uh, gunter there and the off-road hatchback is the Ada, which is like the little Jeep that's there. So you can do the same thing again. So we could increase the nominal, say, to 30. And the minimum, say, to 25. The maximum to, say, 35. And then we can have a maximum of, say, I don't know, what did we say on the other one? 15. 15. 15 and then a minimum of say 10 there we go so that would spawn in a lot more of the off-road little hatchbacks around and you can sorry of the, the sorry the gunters around then you've got the off-road hatchback underneath then you've got the other the this vehicle sedan too which is the uh must be the sarka would be the other one um now the thing about spawning in vehicles is that a vehicle is attached always to its event. So what that means is, say you have uh, 30 uh, um, of the, uh, the Gunters spawning in. So 30 will spawn in on your map, and then your players grab those, those uh, Gunters, and they drive them to their bases. So yeah, they're all gone, and they hide them away, and they've got them. Um, those vehicles are still counted as an event so it's not like just because they've moved them more will then start spawning in because they're still associated with that v that event so more won't spawn in now if one of them becomes destroyed you know damaged and then when an item becomes damaged it will uh, well when it becomes ruined it will then despawn um, after a period of time then another one will spawn in but that I think that's quite an important thing to remember because I think sometimes when you do start playing around with stuff you think oh if someone's to take a vehicle and repair it and drive it off another one will respawn at that point and that isn't the case um, one might respawn at that point but it'll only respawn at that point if there's some spare ones underneath the nominal value so one of the things I did on my server, for example, and do is that we have aiders, the little hatchbacks, off-road hatchbacks, the little jeeps, full of building materials. Um, and I, I thought originally that as soon as you took one of these and drove it away, it would then, another one could possibly spawn where it was. But that's not true because it is always associated with that event until it is destroyed. Okay, so they don't keep spawning in as you drive them off the, the spawn point. So that's how you add more in. Now, you, you may well also be interested in saying, well, okay, how how do I um, make it so they spawn in with all their bits on them as well? Um, and the way that you do that is that you change um, the spawnable types file. Now, you may well want to do a search of this. Um, 
uh, and, and see how it's done. But basically, if you go into the spawnable types.xml, let me show you where that is. So if you go up from where you found the types, uh, found the events XML, uh, if you go back to DB, oops, sorry, go back to the mission folder and go to where spawnable types there it is cfg spawnable types and you download download that one and edit that one if you go down to the vehicle section you'll see off-road hatchback so this is the ada and these are all the chances of stuff so with the ada um, it says type off-road hatchback attachments there's a chance you're a chance of getting an attachment and these are the wheels so the the, the wheels you've got an attachment chance of 0.2 Point eight, point eight, point eight, point eight. If you change these to one point oh oh and one point oh oh, and do that for the wheels, the radiator, the car battery, then the spark plug, and the headlights, and the doors, and the trunk, that vehicle will then spawn in with all the bits already on it. Won't have any fuel in. Won't have any water in the radiator, but it'll spawn in with all the bits on it. So then your players. You know, I've just got to bring water and fuel to it in a jerry can um, or lots of canteens or lots of water bottles and then you can get it run that running that way if you do a search for, on uh, Google or YouTube for how to spawn in running vehicles there, there's loads of other videos on this and they show you how to put I've done videos as well show you how to put stuff in the boot as well so you can have vehicles that spawn in that are full of stuff so that that can be an interesting thing to do and again it depends on how you want to run your server what experience do you want to give your players um my story behind having the hatchbacks the little off-road hatchbacks ready to go was that at the end of the zombie apocalypse perhaps the little four by fours would be the only vehicles that were still available for people to use because they could go off-road to, to drive around the um the towns and cities you know to get to places um, and so the chances are they would still be around and perhaps also the fact that it would kind of make sense that the, the, the whatever was left of the authorities would be giving people nails and hammers and ways of making bases, you know, ways of securing their properties and their homes against the zombies. <laughs> you know, so that, that's my thinking behind it. Um, but you may well think, oh, sod it, I just want it so that every single car on my server has got everything on it straight away so people can, can, can enjoy driving around in cars. But obviously, if you've driven cars in DayZ on console, you'll know that it's not always a great experience. Now, once you're happy though with your events file, or you've increased the numbers of vehicles that you want, you know, just save it. And then you want to go somewhere like um, xmlvalidation.com and you want to upload the file there. Now, you you will get sometimes false positives at these uh, XML validation sites that are checking your spelling, um, especially within remarks or the notes that you get. There's like an army remark that comes up in the um, spawnable types file where there's too many hyphens too many dashes and you can ignore those what you're looking for is things where you've deleted like brackets or added full stops or you've added bits in and if you have go back start again and then revalidate it and once you're happy with it you want to go back with the events to your db folder you want to stop your server and then you want to upload your new events file that will go over the old one and you want to restart your server and then you know your, your increased number of vehicles will start to spawn in and then people can go off and they can find them and they can start fixing them i quite li like the idea of having more vehicles but having vehicles that aren't complete you know because you need to give people things to do in daisy don't you and if you're giving them everything all of the time it takes some of the challenge of of, of daisy and some of the some of the fun away of daisy so maybe you choose to have one of the particular cars like the gunter maybe you could say well the gunter spawning complete but if people want to have a collection of all the different cars in daisy you know they need to go around and repair them and add the wheels and add the, the bonnets and stuff like that anyway that's enough for me hopefully you found that video useful if you have hit the like button if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i'll well i'll see you again soon